but we're gonna draw a big old circle can y'all see that circle that's this is this is your life when you in your 20s and you're going through something that's what you're going through don't get me wrong the things you do in your 20s definitely will affect who you become okay let me be mama for a second let me be big sis for a second what future say take my advice yeah live a better life yeah <laughs> you will never have another time of your life like your 20s i let this man run me ragged you know i'm a good friend and you know i love you but today I don't have the mental space and capacity <laughs> to listen to your issues. I want to be able to pour into a relationship healthy. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. What? I wish somebody would have just told me that. hey y'all what's up and welcome back to my channel so as you can already see from the title of today's video we are going to be talking about things that i wish i would have known in my 20s things that i wish somebody would have like sat me down and been like girl okay listen this 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 and this don't matter okay but this this and this do this but hold up do it like this like these things that i want to share with y'all mean so much to me people look at me right and they like, how old are you? People often think 26, 27, 28. Girl, no. I'm 31. <laughs> I'm 31 and it's crazy because it's like age creeps up on you. And I know if you're watching this and you're still in your 20s, you like, girl, whatever. I'm young, fly, free, and all that. But guess what? I'm 31 and I too still feel like I'm young, fly, and free. I know that I'm still young, fly, and free. But I am in a different stage in my life. I'm in a new stage in my life. And I was like, this is the perfect time to share with other people like me. You are in your 20s and you are watching this video. Girl, I'm gonna need for you to pay attention, okay? Let me be mama for a second. Let me be big sis for a second and tell y'all this stuff because I really wish I would have known these things. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it. I have a notebook right here because I actually sat down and I took time and I thought about what would I tell my younger self. And I came up with, I think it's four or five things. I think it's five things that I came up with. So make sure you get a notebook, take some notes, pay attention. Cause girl, I'm about to get a tea. I'm about to be telling y'all what I need to be doing. <laughs> no, but let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s, in the middle of me going through different stuff, going through relationships, going through jobs, just issues with friends and all that, any issue I went through, I wish that somebody would have sat down and told me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s that all of the things, or a lot of the things anyway, not all of them, but... A lot of the things that you're going through right now or that are stressing you out, got you depressed, got you overwhelmed, taking your energy, does not even matter. Um, I had read this thing one time and it was like, think of your life, right, as this big old circle. So you got this big old circle and then they're like, whatever you're going through right now is just a little dot in that circle. Matter of fact, let me draw it. I'm about to draw it so y'all can see what I'm saying. So like... Here go the paper, right? Hope it's not too bright and y'all can see it. But we're gonna draw a big old circle. Can y'all see that circle? That's, this is, this is your life. When you in your 20s and you're going through something, that's what you're going through. Out of all this life you got, that's what you're going through. If somebody would have gave me that example in my 20s, I would have been like, okay let me chill out let me stop stressing and so I like to think about for me anyway when I was in my 20s I remember um stressing a lot about my relationship those of you who don't know me y'all probably don't know this but I was in a long-term relationship from the age of like 14 which was freshman year in high school all the way until I was like 25 and I spent most of the majority of my 20s in that relationship it wasn't all bad the whole time but towards the end I just feel like I was wasting time but back then when I was going through it that was real life for me you know what I'm saying it was real I'm not downplaying it um so I'm not trying to downplay things that y'all are going through they're real and they do matter to you but I'm just trying to say don't spend too much time dwelling over it or stressed out or trying to figure out things 
why you so young because it's literally not gonna matter like half the stuff that I went through I can't even remember no more I can't even tell y'all the stories the details like it doesn't matter anymore so I wish somebody would have just told me that is like look chill out it ain't that deep like it's not that deep and I feel like experience is the best teacher so at the end of the day I'm 31 it ain't like I'm 56 60 telling y'all this stuff so I'm still getting advice from people older than me I still listen to my mama to my grandma's aunties and stuff like that too but I feel like at the end of the day experience is the best teacher so you are gonna go through it anyway you are gonna do what you want to do and all of that but I just feel like keep in the back of your mind as you are navigating through relationships friendships jobs if you had a job that you don't like keep in the back of your mind that you in your 20s and you got time like don't waste it but you have time still to figure things out and if something is not making you happy right now it is not the end of the world in five years your life can look 100 percent completely 360 flipped and different mine does i am not the same person nor am i living the same life i did when i was 22 23 24 25 i'm 31 i ain't even living the same life i was living when i was 28 a few years ago you know what i'm saying so that's the first thing just remember it ain't that deep <laughs> what you're going through right now it is not even that important things will get better things will change the next thing i wish somebody would have told me in my 20s well you know what i ain't gonna fix my mouth to lie because literally my mom used to tell me this all the time she would be like girl when you get in your 30s or your late 20s losing weight <laughs> she was like it's not you're not gonna be able to lose weight that easy Or I would hear my mom like when I was younger in my early 20s, I would hear her complain. I think at that time she would have been in her 40s or 50s. I don't know. But anyway, she would complain a lot about how hard it was to lose weight. And I'm just like, OK, because even like three years ago, I'm 31. So even like 27, 28, if I wanted to like lose a quick five pounds, 10 pounds, all I literally had to do was drink a lot of water go walk outside, work out, eat less, just little small changes, and I would drop that five, 10 pounds quick. Well, baby, now, that's not the case. I'm 31, and I noticed, like, within the last year, so it hasn't been a very long time that I've been feeling like this, but definitely, girl, that weight does not drop off as easy. I was looking it up the other day on Google, and I was reading, um, you know, hormone changes. So that happened. Um, your metabolism slows down as you get older. And if you're watching this and you like, girl, I don't care. I'm not trying to lose weight. That's fine. You ain't got to be trying to lose weight. But even being healthy, as you get older, your health definitely changes okay there are certain things i used to be able to eat i cannot eat anymore y'all got like aunties or mamas y'all ever heard them say like oh that's too sweet or oh that's too sour oh that's whatever believe that <laughs> and it's so crazy the way life works because it's like i didn't decide to say oh i'm not gonna eat starburst anymore i'm not gonna eat skittles anymore i never made that decision my body and my age made it for me so if you are in your 20s just remember to be healthy especially when you get like 25 26 27 and up try to get your body where you want your body to be for the rest of your life because if you end your 20s and you heavy baby trying to lose that when you 30 31 32 30 whatever i can't speak on anything past 31 because i don't know but trying to lose that later in life girl it's not the same like right now currently today i'm on week four or week five i think it's week five of just trying to be healthy lifestyle change stuff like that and girl i'm trying to lose 10 pounds baby i'm on week five i think this week five four week let's just say a month i've been working out and eating healthy for a month you think that scale dropped mm -mm, and ain't said nothing i'm like what the hell so Take my advice, live a better life. What future say? Take my advice, yeah. Live a better life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, get healthy, be healthy, treat your body right. You know what I'm saying? Um, have fun. Like this video ain't to like scare y'all to get older, but baby, these are things that you're gonna wanna know and you're gonna thank me later. So period. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next thing. The next thing I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s was Go after your dreams and find what your passion is, okay? I 
Now listen, when it comes to finding your passion, I feel like, to me, your passion is something that makes you happy. It's something that you do naturally that makes you feel good and it doesn't feel like work to you. It ain't hard for you. It may even be lucrative. Like, for instance, YouTube. YouTube is my passion. Social media is my passion. I knew that because it made me happy. It makes me happy. I love to film. I love to edit, record, talk to people. I love that. That's something I'm passionate about. So if you are in your 20s, I think this is a good time for you to find something that you're passionate about. If it can make you money and it's lucrative, definitely follow that passion. Because I feel like once you get older, when you get older, like for instance, I'm gonna give you an example with me and my YouTube channel. I didn't figure out what my passion was until I was about 27, 28 years old. Prior to that, I was fine with just working a job. I feel like I made decent money. I was able to take care of myself, take care of my children, pay my bills comfortably. I didn't, I wasn't really worried about my passion. But I would start noticing other people around me like, oh, you can make money doing this. You can make money doing that. Why don't you? And I used to just be like, I'm fine. Like, I got a job. I'm cool. But something had just clicked in me. And I was like, damn, like, I want to do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So I did start my YouTube channel in 2019. I think I was 26 or 27. Um, but as life kept getting like going and going, I'm 31 now. And I'm still passionate about YouTube, but it's like now I also have other things in my mind that I want to do. I want to be married. I want to have a family. I want to be able to pour into a relationship healthy, right? And do like family things. Um, but it's like, damn, I got this YouTube on this side. Like, damn, do I just say forget all that other stuff and pour into YouTube? Or, you know what I'm saying? Now, also, I have kids. Okay, I have kids. So, it's harder for me to just have a lot of free time to film, to edit, record like I want to. So, I'm just saying all that to say, if you in your 20s and you have a passion, now is the time to focus on your passion. Even if you're watching this video and you ain't in your 20s yet, and you in your teens, baby, you really should be focusing on your passion. I feel like the good thing about my generation, I was born in 92. The good thing about my generation is I have a mix of like the old way of life before social media, before everybody trying to be an entrepreneur and all that stuff. And then I'm, so I'm old enough to know what life was like before social media and all this stuff. But it's like I'm, I'm young enough to still want to make money on the side, want to be an entrepreneur, want to tap into my passion and be like live free. If you, if you watching this video, you're my age, you know back in the day, our mama names was not talking about, oh, find a job that makes you happy so you can be financially free and this and this and that and travel when you want to. That wasn't spoke about when I was growing up. And so it's like, I wish I would have known that option. Like my daughter, I'm telling her that now. She in middle school and I'm telling her, girl, find something that you're passionate about and focus on that. The goal is to not work 40 hours a week, be tired, um, and then have to clock back in after a two-day break. Saturday and Sunday, the weekend, here you go right back again, hustling and bustling, waiting for your next check. Mm-mm, we're not doing that. I told my baby, you find something you're passionate about, especially if it makes you money, and go for it and do it. And this is not to say that you shouldn't have a nine-to-five job or anything like that, because some people are passionate about nursing. Some people are passionate about being a lawyer. Like, I'm not saying don't get a standard regular job where you get a paycheck but if there's any itch or notch or whatever in your body that you want to do something else do it your 20s is the perfect time especially if you don't have kids yet and you don't have no ties to no man or nothing this is the time to go hard for your dreams if somebody would have told me that in my 20s and said hey what do you like to do and I back in the day y'all I used to I might, I don't know, I might insert a video over here. Uh. Hi, I'm gonna sing um, Money Mac, my Nivea. So I got my little ghetto video over there. Okay, so I'm gonna sing Money Mac, my Nivea. Yeah, I'm gonna sing Money Mac, my Nivea. Yeah, I'm gonna
It's a hot mess, but if I insert it, y'all will see in the video, I stayed on a camera. Like, ask any of my friends that knew me back in the day. Baby, I stayed on the camera. I stayed talking to a camera, singing in front of a camera. I've always done that. And so, those type of small things, I wish somebody would have said, like, hey, you should do YouTube. Imagine if I would have started my YouTube channel back then, back before I had kids, back before I had all these other stresses, and I could have really poured into my channel. I'm pretty sure I'd be at 500k, 600k, if not a million by now. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have just had all the time and energy to put in that. So I spent a lot of time on this point, follow your passion, because it is so, like I got, I just got the chills right now saying that. It is so important. You'll look up. And if you create kids with these men and you done, uh, uh, done been through so many bad, toxic relationships, now your mood is messed up, your self esteem is low. You're not being healthy. And then you get in your 30s. And then you like, oh, I want to do this. Well, now it's going to be 10 times harder. Because now, yes, you got kids. You got to worry about. You done been through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, just different stuff. Um, focus. Focus in. If you in your 20s, girl, and you want to do something, do it. You will never have another time of your life like your 20s. Like, you have all the energy. Now I'm older. Girl, I be wanting to, when I get off of work, I want to lay in my bed, watch TV, take a bath self-care like not saying you don't do those things in your 20s but when you're in your 20s you have energy you ready to go okay what's next what's next so imagine putting all that energy into your passion what yeah if you in your 20s and you watching this girl you better be doing your stuff the next piece of advice i wish somebody would have told me in my 20s is you can settle down later you can settle down later listen in my 20s well i got pregnant right before i turned 18 like a week before i turned 18 i had my first kid so i did this like before my 20s but i was close enough but still um you can do that later you can have kids later don't listen date have fun be free do not worry about settling down right now do not worry about trying to be somebody's wife do you okay do you and have fun and be free and that's what i'm teaching my daughter i keep referring back to my daughter because she is in the eighth grade she's 13 so she she still got time but she's right at that age like i met her dad when i was a freshman so technically she can go to high school next year and meet somebody and be like head over heels that's how i was head over heels puppy love oh this is my man locked in thinking about marriage kids family cooking and cleaning doing all that stuff Mm, don't you still got time enjoy your 20s i feel like in your 30s girl you can start to settle down or maybe like 28 29 you know what i'm saying you can start to wind down a little bit dating seriously um you know thinking more along the lines of being a wife and things like that but if you are in your 20s girl i just say do you just do you because and here's the thing i don't want to i don't want to make this video like oh don't <laughs> how can i put this i'm not saying nothing matters and uh do whatever you want to date whoever you want like because don't get me wrong the things you do in your 20s definitely will affect who you become in your 30s and what you do in your 30s is gonna affect who you is in your 40s and 40s who you fit like it's gonna it all does matter so i'm not saying live reckless and i'm not saying make bad decisions Keep your head on straight. Keep your crown up. Make good decisions. I'm just saying I wanted to just stress the importance of not putting too much pressure on yourself to be married and to have this life and to be um, shacked up with a man. Like the old people say, shacked up, playing house. Mm -mm. Yo, 20s, girl, you're supposed, you're supposed to be traveling, having fun. If you're dating somebody and you love them and it's looking like it's going to where it's supposed to be, that's great. I'm not saying break up with them that's fine i'm just saying if you in a relationship and you love this person and you want to be with this person but he ain't acting right he's cheating he's toxic he talked to you crazy y'all not working out it's okay to let it go and let it go without feeling bad for yourself or feeling like oh my god going through the breakup um problem let it go because you 20 you 22 you 24 you're 26 baby you still got time and i know one thing about me when i turned 25 
I felt like, oh my God, I'm old. Like when I turned 25, I was like, wow, I have five more years to 30. I thought like, baby, I gotta get this figured out. And so when I was 25, I don't know if y'all seen my breakup story, my 11 year long breakup story. If not, I'll put it down below in the link so you can watch it in the description box. But um, when I turned 25, that's when I broke up with my kid's father. Because I was just like, this is not what I want. I knew I was getting older. I knew I wanted my life to go in a different direction. And it just wasn't, it wasn't going in that direction with that person. Um, but if you're 25, just realize that's still young too. Don't turn 25 and think, oh, I got to get married right now. And even with me being 31, I be reminding myself of that too. Like, I'm 31. Yes, I want the family life and stuff. But I still even tell myself that you're 31. You can get married when you're 33, 35, 36. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to wait that long. Somebody better put a ring on this finger, like, within the next two years. Because, period. No. But what I'm saying is, you still have time. So, if you are in your 20s, just do you. And I wish somebody would have told me that, too. Like, don't worry about settling down right now. Don't make relationships a big, important part of your life when you're in your 20s. You got the rest of your life to deal with men and their problems. Because one thing about it, I talk to older women sometimes in their 40s and 50s. And guess what? They still going through the same shit they went through in their 30s, their 20s. Like, it's the same. The men is the same. The men is the same, boo. It ain't like you get older and it just gets better or something. They still stupid. <laughs> men are still crazy. Like, it's the same. So, I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s, don't worry about settling down. And if you are with somebody... It's cool. Ain't no pressure. Don't put no pressure behind these men. Just do you and be happy and be free and travel. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. And the last thing that I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s is about self-love and what it means to have self-love. And this, I say this one for last just because I feel like this is kind of the most important one because if you have self-love a lot of this other stuff that I named like going after your passion not being pressed over a man rushing to settle down all the being sad and overwhelmed depressed in your 20s I feel like if you have self-love that's gonna follow up under all all those other things are gonna follow up under self-love and so I wish in my 20s somebody would have told me what self-love means um and why it's important to have it so I'm just gonna matter of fact let's google it i'll google just drop my pen i'm gonna google self-love um and then we can read the definition to see what google says it is and then i'm gonna tell y'all like what i think self-love um so self-love definition google says self-love means regard for one's own well-being and happiness considered as a desirable rather than narcissistic characteristic so basically regard for one's well-being and happiness so that means self-love that's basically what i was gonna say self-love put your happiness up here if you're dealing with anything any friendships any jobs any relationships anything at the moment that does not make you happy walk away from it let it go because your your happiness your energy your your mental health is what's most important and I know like with me when I was younger I remember having friendships that I let drain me down okay I had friendships that I let drain me down and it was because I felt it was because I felt bad for people like I remember being in my 20s uh, I had a friend and you know she was going through stuff that she was going through and I was going through stuff too so this is no shade to nobody but I remember like being with my baby daddy and like he would be like get off the phone because I would be on the phone two three hours it didn't matter and I would sit there and I would just consume 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 and listen to my friend problems all the time but it's like back then I I'm being a good friend like I can't not not answer for my friend or even with like when my relationship started going down I feel like I can't leave this part like I have to help this person I can't leave them like I have to we got to figure it out we got to make it work like No, because I feel like if I had self-love back then and somebody would have told me, no, girl, put your happiness first above all, I would have, like, 
not went through a lot of the stuff that I went through or if I still went through it it wouldn't have been as harsh or he as heavy for me to carry because I would have been having my self love right here and if it wasn't making me happy or if it was draining my energy I would have been able to better handle that not saying I still want to talk to my friends on the phone but I would have known to like okay girl it's okay to skip a couple of phone calls it's okay to say okay girl well hope things get better talk to you later things like that I didn't know nobody told me like put yourself first and um I don't know I feel like now sometimes you'll talk to people and you tell them like put yourself first and they'll be like oh that's so selfish it's so selfish no babe it's called self-love I'm not telling you to be selfish at all be a good person be a bad bitch and be a good person first and foremost but have that self-love to know if something is not serving you it's okay to let it go I didn't know that I did not know that and I I spent a lot of my 20s being in friendships dealing with different relationships and talking to men that like meant me no good that drained my energy drained my energy okay I have a video on here it's a vlog and I was talking about how I had a um, panic attack or anxiety attack and this was probably about like three or four years ago it's on my channel if you go through my vlog playlist you'll find it but I had a panic attack and I talked about it in that vlog and um it was just not good it was not good for me and I'm just like why did I and I was dealing with a guy at the time and I'm just like I let this man run me wreck it like run me wreck it and it's like if somebody would have told me in my 20s self-love comes first girl you're 27 or however old. I think I was like 27 or 28 when it happened girl you're 28 girl it don't matter because guess what now the relationship stuff that I deal with now the feelings that I have now it ain't even for that person that had me having getting a, a damn anxiety attack back then. I love somebody else now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean by like, it's not, when I had told y'all earlier in the video, like stuff isn't that important. It's really not. So yeah, y'all, self-love, definitely work on your self-love if you don't have it. And self-love is not, oh, I do think I'm cute. Oh, I don't think I'm this. I know that I'm a cute girl. I know that I'm, self-love ain't got nothing to do with your, I, well it does have that's a whole different other topic self-love if you care about yourself you're gonna keep yourself up physically anyway but overall self-love doesn't mean because you love your appearance self-love starts within self-love is mean self-love means if something is not serving you if something is stressing you out if something is just not working right you know how to let go and even at 31 I'm still working on my self-love I don't feel like you just learn how to love yourself and then that's it and you love yourself you just always show that sometimes even still now i'll be having to like nudge myself back over like no girl your happiness comes first no you don't have to deal with this you don't have to be doing this like you know what i'm saying um i still work on that daily if i'm tired or my emotions and my energy just ain't there and i can't pick up the phone for a friend i do not pick up the phone and i've recently learned how to do that like within the last year or two it's just saying hey you know i'm a good friend and you know i love you but today, I don't have the mental space and capacity <laughs> to listen to your issues. Um, and so then I just don't answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things that I wish somebody would have told me in my 20s. Um, I do hope y'all enjoyed this video. I do hope that you picked up some stuff from this video um, that maybe you did already know and you know you need to work on. Or maybe you didn't know it and you want to start working on it. Because I just feel like it's going to help. I know it's gonna help because it would have helped me so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video before you leave my channel please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel especially if you like these type of videos from me advice videos sit down talking type videos let me know and I'll definitely post more just like this and yeah um before y'all leave here too make sure you leave me a comment leave me a comment and let me know what tips that you like the most um or what things you want to work on or if you my age already girl and you got some tips and uh, things you wish you would have known leave me a comment down below because I'm 31 but I'm still learning you know what I'm saying I'm still learning and seeing what's going on girl I ain't dead old I'm seasoned a little bit but girl it's still giving everything she's supposed to give because period no but yeah um also y'all follow me on my Instagram I will have my Instagram up here either up here on the screen so y'all can go follow me over there and yeah until next time y'all stay pretty